Good morning everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is week number 11. I hate to start the vlog on a bit of a downer but yesterday the worst thing that can happen to someone who makes videos uh, happened to me and I accidentally deleted two videos off of my memory card which <laughs> isn't ideal when you're pre-filming. So yeah my Sunday def not def not. <laughs> my Sunday definitely didn't go as I wanted it to you could say that so so this morning i am going to refilm the two videos that i deleted before my pt session it is now half past seven pt's at 10. i mean realistically i'm only going to be able to do one of them so that's how things are going that's my morning there were tears there were lots of tears it's because i was really happy with the videos as well anyway i hope you're well i hope you had a lovely week um obviously the week that you just had was the week I'm about to have. So I hope this week, for me, this week goes well for you. For you, I hope it went well. I need a coffee now. Tim, do you want a coffee? I'm gonna make us both a coffee. Tim's working from here today. Let's get on with another week. Tonight, Tim and I are going to see RuPaul's Drag Race Live Season 4 Reunited. So it's not all doom and gloom, you guys. Evening, guys. I've not spoken to you all day because I've been playing catch up trying to do the work that I lost yesterday but I just got ready there will be an insta video on this makeup on my instagram right now I'm posting this at the same time so after you watch this vlog head over and go and see it because it's turned out pretty cool focus please I'm in a rush this is my outfit nothing particularly special um it's literally jeans and a top but I don't know what kind of shenanigans I'm going to be getting up to tonight so I wanted to be comfortable I can't believe we're going to see Sharon needles in the flesh tonight Tim whoa I'm so excited. We made ourselves wrap pizzas because Tim hasn't tried it yet. It's very nice. I put a bit of chilli, chopped chilies. It's good. Mm. We don't know what to expect. I just basically saw the words Sharon needles. I was like, I'll take 20. Don't be distracted by this bullshit because it's just a distraction to distract you from your real ultimate goal of success. You understand what I'm telling you? Don't give up on you. You are worth the fight. Do you understand what I'm telling you? If I can become best friends with one of my most famous enemies, that should show a token to what you all can do when you push that hate away and open up that heart a little bit for forgiveness, compassion, and seeing the true talents and the good of people when you enjoy just seeing the best.
so amazingly amazing. It was pretty good. It was really good. I'm so happy that you love drag. It's great. Oh, yeah, the trees for hours probably my spirit animal. <laughs> spirit animal. <laughs> I just love her so much. We had a really good time though on the train now, so it's really quiet. Good morning everyone. It is now Tuesday morning. I'm very, very sleepy. Oh, ow. Oh, I match my walls. Wow. I've always loved green. This is my Levis hoodie from school. And this is the color I chose. Green's always been my color. Anyway, I am very sleepy this morning because Tim and I had a, had a late night or school night last night. Oh my goodness. Did we have fun? I'm so lucky that I've got a boyfriend who, for a start, was willing to start watching Drag Race with me at all. Also, who then ended up loving Drag Race to the point where he would come to a drag event with me, just the two of us, on a Monday night when he has work the next day. Props to Tim for being such a good sport. He had so much fun. He knows the names of more drag queens than I do. Like, I'm terrible with names. So like, I'll be sat there and I'm like, what was her name? And he'll just be like, and he'll tell me. I'm like, create a drag queen monster. <laughs> so yeah, last night was really, 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 really fun. We had a great time. I fell asleep on the train. I was so tired. <laughs> I'm currently swimming in skincare actually. I'm planning some Instagram videos, some little skincare videos that I want to do. I found like a new love for making Instagram videos. Like I've always enjoyed it. I've made them like on and off. Recently I'm just like, I love making them. And I also think, this isn't like an official thing. I'm gonna move a lot of my makeup content to my Instagram. When I look at my channel on YouTube, I'm still gonna post like makeup stuff on YouTube, but there are so many other things now that I, feel like I should be prioritizing posting other than makeup just based on your response. Makeup's not the majority of your favorite thing anymore. You love fitness, you love food, and you love vlogs, which I also love. That's what I'm passionate about. But I also love makeup and will always love makeup. So I think doing my Shop My Stash monthly tutorials, my monthly favorites is like talking about products, maybe do like three beauty makeup things a month, roughly. Like I'm not gonna set a number. I feel like that's kind of giving the people who love that a little bit, but then giving me loads of room for other things as well. I'm gonna do a lot of makeup and skincare-y stuff and hair probably over on my Instagram. I'm gonna make Instagram videos, like quick tutorials, like I filmed my makeup last night for Instagram. Um, again, like I said, the same day as this, so go watch that after this and follow me while you're there. I just think it will be better so I'm just gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna see. So yeah, I'm currently surrounded by skincare because I'm just planning out a couple of like little skincare videos. I need to pack up some mug orders. And then I think I want to go to Hobbycraft and buy some backing card for my Instagram so I can use different colored backgrounds. I'm really, I'm getting into it. I really wanna invest. So I think I'll do that. Bit of filming, bit of shopping. I need to make myself my coffee. I haven't made my coffee yet. So I'm gonna do that now. Before anything else can happen, I need to tidy up my office beyond a mess. And I actually think I'm gonna move the furniture. So I'm gonna try and do that right now. Wish me luck. <laughs> Later, I've made some serious progress here. So I wanted a setup where I could film my Instagram videos, 
But the issue I had is where I've been filming them is the backdrop for my YouTube videos. Because I don't want to use just the plain white background for my YouTube videos because I just, that's not me. Let me just hang on. I'm really showing you my best self this morning. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could have a pretty permanent setup to film my Instagram videos, but that I can easily move the lights to film YouTube videos. So what I've done is this unit, this desk was there. Sorry, my camera keeps zooming in and out. You okay there, mate? And it didn't really serve any purpose. It just had all my makeup in it. Now I've put it over there. So it can obviously continue to store my makeup. If you've watched me for a long time, you might remember my cream drawers, the chest of drawers that I used to have in my bedroom at my dad's house. Um, that's still at my dad's house because I don't have anywhere to put it yet. Once those boxes are empty, I'm gonna put that unit there, which is where I'll keep a lot more makeup because at the moment I'm limited to those drawers, which is why I have so much overflow everywhere because it will also be for my skincare fake tan hair care it's going to be great when i have that i think it'll make such an enormous difference my makeup is in there which is now a really cute background for my videos because before it was just a blank wall wasn't it with that plant i think i'm going to put my subscriber plaque and some art above there. I've been itching to put art on that wall for ages. This is actually a sideboard, so it's too low to be a desk. So we're gonna get some stilts made to make it a bit higher. But until then, that is what I sit on. Behind the scenes, baby. So then I've put all of my lights facing that white wall instead of that wall. So it's a little bit more of like a permanent-ish setup. And then if I wanna film a YouTube video, all I need to do is push those lights like a couple feet that way, rather than like having to completely change the room every single time so i'm gonna try this out see how the lighting is obviously the lighting against that wall was incredible because it was directly opposite the window so it had loads of light whereas now it's like a side lit situation which needs balancing out but yeah i'm really happy i did that and it's not even 9 a.m so yeah i'm pretty pleased and i am going to go to hobbycraft and i also want to go to tk maxx to see if they've got like a really little side table because that's the one thing that I really am missing. I need a little table next to me when I film to put my mirror and also my laptop on because at the moment I'm just like building boxes into like little towers which are shaky and look really ugly. So yeah, I've got a couple things I need to go pick up today. So yeah, this has turned into a little bit of a homeware situation sorry i've been talking for a long time but i'm feeling chatty loads of comments about my last video you guys were a lot of you were confused as to what a hen do is so it's a hen like a chicken do and that is what us brits call a bachelorette party so my sister's getting married in may and this weekend is her bachelorette or hen do that's what that is loads of people were like what's happening to your sister what's a hen do <laughs> it's a bachelorette party i'll film some snippets but obviously it's her it's like her weekend so i don't want to film loads of stuff if she doesn't want me to assess the vibe i'm gonna be honest it's been another 45 minutes since i last filmed that clip just got really into cleaning <laughs> which rarely happens so when i do i like to go for it so this room's looking much better there's still a ways to go i think i'm gonna really like this setup this is a box full of cardboard a rubbish bag and i just cleaned all of my brushes because they needed it i've got a strict list of things i need i need a small table i need a stool that is it this is me and this is tk maxx so we don't know how this will actually go also, this morning has been solely fueled on coffee. I'm yet to eat. It is 10.40, but I'm on my second black coffee. We're going to Hobbycraft and TK Maxx. <laughs> Let's go do not a lot of damage. Repeat after me. Not a lot of damage. Where should I go first? TK Maxx or Hobbycraft? I'll go to TK Maxx first, then Hobbycraft. Exciting. This is no short of a miracle. I just got what I needed. I got a stool and the table. So far, it was a success. You know what, guys? I would say, hang on, is my coffee still hot? Mm. 
Oh my god, my coffee's still good. I'm so hungry. That was a very successful trip. I got some backdrops. I am starting off with paper because I get a bit overexcited. So I'm going to take it slow. I've, I'm starting with card and I'm going to DIY it. I also got the table, which is actually two tables. I'll show you when I get home. And then I actually got a stool. I think it should fit. And if it doesn't fit there, there is another place I need a stool. So it can go there because I know it will fit there. Oh, yes. It fits perfectly there amazing i can finally sit here i can actually sit here properly it's not quite pink it's not quite purple it's not quite beige because i didn't want to go for like straight up pink because the sofa's pink and it's a bit matchy matchy for me i nearly went for a green one but i love that things are starting to come together oh my goodness that's amazing i'm so happy <gasps> yay and then here is the table which is actually two side tables so they go like that because i need one for my laptop and then this one can be over my lap like that while i do my video and then while i'm not using it i can put them together like that i'm gonna get a nicer chair that chair is awful and that's that i am so 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 happy and excited with how my office has turned out today. I've been working on it basically all day. So here's the setup for my Instagram videos. It's a bit, it's a lot. I want them to look as good as I can. So I've clamped two pieces of yellow card. I've got a few other colors I'll show you in a minute. There's a second clamp coming tomorrow, so I'll have one on either side. Um, my little table's doing bits over here. I've got a light here, but there is gonna be a proper light coming tomorrow. And this is what we're working with. Obviously it'll be square. Yes, my office is finally coming together you guys. We're, we're really getting there. Hooray! I'm so excited. So yeah, I've said it a lot recently, but follow my Instagram. I think this is what I needed. I just needed a refresh. I went for this green, which I think is gorgeous. I went for this blue, the lilac, and then the pink. And then obviously I've got white and then the yellow. I'm gonna start with these colors and um, work with this for now. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> Evening, hello. Um, I was just started cooking and then I remembered you guys really like to see what I cook. So I'm just gonna show you briefly. I'm making a spag bowl, a veggie spag bowl. So I just blended up um, some tomato because I don't have any chopped tomato. So I just blended fresh tomatoes. I'm gonna put in some tomato puree. I've got garlic, onions, red wine stock. Salt, pepper. We're not doing anything groundbreaking here. So I'm on my ones tonight, which is nice. It's fine. I've been on my ones all day. I've had a lovely day actually, just by myself, getting stuff done, you know, doing things that I've been meaning to do for ages, you know, because I didn't really get a weekend. I treated last night as my Saturday night and today is kind of like my getting ready for the week. Sunday. You know, I just feel like I've pushed my weekend back a couple of days. But yeah, I've had a productive day. I felt I edited two Instagram videos today. Went and set set up my backdrop. I've got a couple of things arriving for it tomorrow, so I ended up not filming any today. I just edited ones I've already filmed. I think I've got Worcester sauce actually. Maybe I'll put some of that in. Someone commented to put Worcester Worcestershire. Wush Worcester. I just said it, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I just reminded myself of that video, Worcestershire. One just shall Um, Yeah, someone said to put that in to vegan spag bowl to make it taste richer. I'm gonna give it a go. Good morning, it is 10 a.m. and I am yet to speak to you guys today, but I can assure you I've had a very productive morning. I put the dishwasher on, exciting stuff. I posted an Instagram video and I've nearly finished editing tomorrow's video, which is my Q&A with Monica. It's really like so much footage. It took me a long time to edit, but you know, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. I'm now gonna make myself breakfast because it is 10, it's breakfast time. Talk to zero food in my house right now i'm in hastings all weekend like i said for my sister's bachelorette so i don't want to buy food because i know that i won't eat it because i'm not going to be here so it means that we're working with what we've got at the moment which is great good to use up the food in your freezer and in your cupboard i was kind of tempted to do a whole video like i lived off of food in my freezer for a week i'm sure a lot of people live off of food in their freezer but i mean like trying to eat like a healthy diet not by like and just using what I've already got in there. Like, just not planning, not buying anything to like, like I can't go and buy loads of frozen food. I mean, just like, 
on a random day just being like whatever's in my freezer i have to live off of for the next week i am overwhelmed honestly with how many of you guys like are posting that you've made things that i make it's actually crazy i repost every single one on my instagram stories so if you ever make a meal that i cook in like a, what i eat in a day or in a vlog or if you ever recreate one of my makeup looks always tag me in your pictures of it because i repost them all because i just think it's amazing that so many people are like choosing to make things that i've recommended like so many of you have made the tortilla pizzas and so many of you like so many of you have made stewed apple and you're all saying how much you love it which is amazing because it is damn delicious stewed apple is honestly game changing every breakfast delicious yeah no it makes me so happy it's looking a bit sad today because i'm running low on everything but I used the rest of my stewed apple, so I did a double portion of stewed apple. I did like 100 grams of Greek yogurt, 30 grams of oats, like 15 grams of chia seeds mixed in, 20 grams of raisins, and then like 10 grams of coconut flakes, all stirred into the porridge, and then, and then 15 grams of protein powder. So it's pretty hefty, but I've got a lot to do today, and I'm running low on food, so I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. So I'm gonna have a nice big hearty breakfast to keep me powering on. <laughs> Hi, um, it's been many hours since I last spoke to you. Three o'clock, oh it's actually, no, it's, I thought it was much later than that. I have edited tomorrow's video. I'm currently filming an Instagram video. I've already filmed one today. I honestly, I don't have really anything to say. I just wanted to say hi because I haven't really spoken to you today, but all I'm doing is filming, editing and drinking tea. I hope you're enjoying the vlog anyway. It's just pretty. You know how these are. They're very accurate to my life. I'm not the most exciting person. <laughs> okay, my other lights arrived. So I've now got a hair light and this little baby up lighter right here. So I can finally chuck uh, one of my soft boxes, which was so huge um, and bulky and ugly and just took up so much space. I mean, obviously this whole setup takes up a lot of space, but look, look at how little and compact these little lights are so that's it there's the setup that is it for now i want to like tray all the wires nicely but i'm pretty pleased i think it's gonna look great that's for instagram not for youtube youtube i want to keep more chilled like i don't need to go crazy with all of the like backgrounds and stuff like that because whereas instagram i don't talk so it's more about how it looks whereas youtube is more like what i'm saying <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's Thursday and I'm going to my second gym session of the week. I've really not been very good this week with the old workout, but I've been very productive and I've got lots of work done, but yeah, not my best show. And I promised myself I'd work out every day before the hen, <laughs> so that's not gone well for me, but what can you do? I'm proud of what I've achieved this week. I'm running a bit late, I'm going to film my session. Let's go feel the burn. <laughs> Supersets. Why do you like supersets? I love, I love supersets because it keeps my heart rate up. Mm, yeah. It keeps me going. <laughs> I feel like I've earned my rest. <laughs> from the gym and I'm really excited to have my protein shake because recently I've been having just a protein porridge instead of a protein shake but obviously I already had my breakfast so I'm gonna have a good old-fashioned protein shake and I'm gonna have my chocolate hazelnut I've also been thinking about coronavirus today um, I haven't really thought about it I'm not gonna lie I've been just like you know we'll be fine but it kind of feels like a film like it doesn't feel real like there's like in the gym all of the screens are like 
coronavirus information and like i know a couple people in quarantine like it's feeling really real and quite scary now so everyone please stay safe and i hope everyone's okay i'm feeling very lucky right now i just got a message from my manager and i've got a job with ren coming up which i'm so excited about i feel like something that i want to start doing is talking about like my ads more and kind of showing you i guess the behind the scenes and things because i really love what i do a massive part of why i love it is because i'm just so excited to work with brands that i really really love i've been talking about ren so much recently like they were in they were in my recent favorites. I obviously went to that event the other day and I just did like an Instagram video using loads of their products. I absolutely love their stuff and so I'm so happy that I'm getting to work with them. It feels like such a natural collaboration and we can get some stick sometimes for doing sponsored posts and sponsored videos. We need to make a living somehow and I always support my friends if a post is sponsored even more because I'm so excited for them that they're working with a great brand that I know that they love because they're promoting it. But I feel like this might be a hate-free zone because of how much I've been talking about Ren organically just because I've been so excited about them as a brand. They're making real moves in sustainability and I'm just really excited. I'm so happy. I've got some really, really exciting brand work coming up and I'm just feeling so lucky. I don't know if you guys can tell, I've been working really, really hard recently. Like. I'm really trying, <laughs> like, I'm trying my absolute best. So when things like this come through, it makes it all feel really worth it. Because these lights ain't cheap. <laughs> Mama gotta pay the bills. There'll be a post with Ren coming soon for a product that I've been trying recently that I have absolutely fallen in love with. Can you guess what that product is? Yay, yay. I just edited and uploaded Thursday's video, my Q&A with Monica, so that's all done. That's what I've been doing for most of the day, because as you can tell, it's basically getting dark now. I've been sat on that bloody sofa all week. But I'm gonna just chill for a little bit because I have been just staring at a screen and editing for hours. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then I've got a spin class in. Let me just consult my watch. I need to leave in just under an hour. I've not been to a spin class since Asia three or four months because obviously i didn't have my car i couldn't get a bus there i couldn't get a train there the only way to get there is to drive because it's on a farm <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere so i'm very very much looking forward to it i'm gonna meet tim there and then i think he's coming back to mine tonight so hopefully we can watch a walking dead because things are heating up if you guys watch the walking dead tim and i have watched the walking dead since the very beginning and damn what a roller coaster it's been <laughs> It got really rough there for a minute, but they've managed, honestly, this is like the comeback of the century. I can't believe The Walking Dead have actually managed to make it good again because it got really bad. But we stuck through it because we have spent so much time and committed so much of our lives watching this bloody TV show. We were like, we can't just stop watching. And they've managed to pull through. It's actually okay. Hopefully we'll watch that tonight. I'm ready. I've got my protein. I've got my water. I'm being stared at by my neighbour. I don't care, I don't care. You can judge me all you like, love. I'm gonna be like, fuck. I'm home from spin, feeling really, really good. Tim and I are gonna have haddock. This is one of my favorite quick meals. It's frozen haddock and I put pesto on top and then I cook it for 25 minutes. So me and Tim are gonna have two haddock fillets each. With pesto and toasted pine nuts. Bon apple tip. Yeah, may I help you? <laughs> Where do you want your coffee? <laughs> Wanted to take him a nice coffee in the bath, but he was already finished with his, with his bath. It's Friday, it's my sister's hen day today. So I've got a pretty busy morning ahead of me. It is quarter past seven. I've been up since quarter past six. I am editing the weekly vlog. So every second that I'm filming right now is just adding moments of time to my workload today. That's okay, we'll be okay. I wanted to fake tan and all of that jazz, which hopefully I'll have time to do. So I'm gonna get editing. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I need it, I really need it. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. About you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. So 
such a wonderful delight. Hi guys, I just arrived in Hastings. I just picked up my cousin, I've got Gemma, and we're here for my sister's hen craziness and I'm just gonna quickly show you where we're staying. I'm not gonna vlog a lot because it's her day but this is a beautiful Airbnb so I just want to show it to you really quick. You're the rose in a garden and it shows if I'm honest. lovely it's absolutely beautiful i think amy's gonna love it that i love you ooh, ooh, ooh. you ooh, ooh. so slow hold you in my arms <laughs> I'm just on a swingy chair. <laughs> I'm actually editing the vlog that you're watching right now. So I've just snuck off. I got ready really early so I could do a bit of work before the day starts. We're doing a treasure hunt today, I think, um, which will be nice. And then we're going for pizza and drinks. And last night we played games. We did a RuPaul themed lip sync battle. My team did It's Raining Men and we didn't win, which I think is an abomination, but what can you do? But it's super fun. I think Amy's having a great time. I've eaten so, so much food. I've had like five cup cupcakes for breakfast and I'm not stopping now and I'm having pizza later. I'm gonna enjoy every bite, every second. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. It is Sunday. This morning we woke up, we had breakfast, went on a beach walk to clear my slightly sore head. And then I drove Gemma and I home, dropped Gemma off, and now I'm here editing the weekly vlog. This evening I'm going to Lizzie and Tom's new flat. So I'm gonna go and see it tonight. I feel a little bit worse for wear. Don't know if you can tell. And look at this monster that has appeared on my cheek. Isn't that rude? But uh, yeah coronavirus am i right i know i've been pretty chilled about it in this vlog but obviously it's been like a whole week since i started the vlog things are a bit mental i don't know i'll keep you guys posted on my standpoint and like what's going on with me throughout the weekly vlog yeah scary times things are very weird at the moment but anyway the hen was super fun i had a really nice weekend and i think amy had a great time 
which is obviously the most important thing. She's getting married in May, so it is sneaking up. I got to see baby Ralph this morning, and oh my god, he's so sweet. So yeah, I got some baby cuddles. But yeah, I just need to edit this vlog and get it up for you guys. It's probably another long one, but I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a great week. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and if you are new, please subscribe. Join me on this crazy journey of life. I vlog every week. Uh, yeah, have the best day, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye! Oh, and don't forget, right now on my Instagram, there is an, a tutorial on the makeup that I wore to RuPaul at the beginning of the vlog. Um, I've posted that at the same time, so go and check that out now give you something to watch after this. Okay, love you, bye.